The global requirement for green, sustainable energy needs advanced energy storage systems, such as rechargeable batteries for electric vehicles or for efficient use of renewable power. Sodium-ion batteries have emerged as a more abundant, lower cost and safer alternative to lithium-ion batteries. Additionally, using organic electrode materials can offer lighter weight, tunable molecular design, renewability and low cost compared to traditional inorganic electrode materials. However, these electrodes have lower reduction potentials, which are undesirable in rechargeable batteries. In their full paper in Advanced Energy Materials, Mahesh Hari Heron and Manikut Shai Jumon and their co-workers from the Indian Institute of Science Education and Research demonstrate their simple and efficient approach to tune the redox properties of perylene diiamides PDIs, as high voltage cathodes for organic based sodium ion batteries. The results offer a new avenue to tailor the redox properties of organic electrodes for use in green sustainable electrochemical storage devices. We've been looking at organic based electrodes for both lithium and sodium ion batteries for quite some time now, but mostly addressing some of the key issues like poor stability of the electrode and the poor conductivity. And another major concern with these organic systems is the fact that the potential, the operating voltage is quite low. So in this particular work, we've demonstrated a very efficient and a unique approach to tune both the potential, the operating voltage, as well as the voltage profile. Considering the emergence of organic electrode-based lithium batteries, our group has been working on synthesis of a variety of perylene diamine based materials for the last several years. By varying the substituents at the wave position, we could obtain several twisted perylene diamine derivatives with tunable redox properties that are useful for lithium batteries. The researchers synthesized various PDI derivatives with different electron withdrawing substituents. Galvanostatic charge discharge cycling revealed a two electron redox process for all derivatives, shifting to higher voltages on increasing electron withdrawal. Reversible ingress of sodium ions was observed with a sodium intake of approximately 1.6 to 1.8 ions per molecule. Molecular orbital theory confirmed the link between the electron withdrawing ability of the substituents and the reduction potential, affirming the flexibility of organic molecules for tailored electrode design. The researchers further introduced a systematic twist in the perylene ring of tetrabromo substituted PDIs, thereby tuning the redox properties. Galvanostatic cycling of the PDIs revealed two well-separated redox peaks and discharge plateaus for near-planar perylene rings, indicating the presence of two redox pairs. However, as the dihedral angle was increased, a single plateau was achieved, indicating a single redox pair. In all derivatives, the practical and theoretical capacities were closely matched and had a sodium ion intake greater than 1.7 per molecule. Tribromo PDI was polymerized to prevent electrode dissolution in solvents during repeated cycling, resulting in a stable practical capacity of 78 milliamp hours per gram over 100 cycles, close to the calculated theoretical capacity of 84 milliamp hours per gram. I think this is a great achievement. For example, you know, now we are getting a much higher operating potential as well as a, a very steady voltage plateau. And this means a lot uh, for the practical applications. To find out more, please visit the Advanced Energy Materials homepage.